Thank you for joining us today. As a medical oncologist for over 10 years, I have seen breakthroughs in breast cancer management and treatment. Over the years, breast cancer deaths have actually declined in the United States. This improvement is a result of better early breast cancer treatment with new drugs and combinations, also numerous successful therapies for women with breast cancer advanced cases, and advancements in early detection and screening for breast cancer. Early detection, screening, and diagnostic tests will be our focus in this video. Our goal with this educational series is to stress the significance of early screening and self-breast exams. You'll learn about the risks, the recommendations, and the proper way to do a self-breast exam. In addition, we will discuss the changes to the breast when cancer is suspected, types of biopsies that may be recommended, and why. We hope you benefit from the information you are about to receive and motivates you to follow the suggested guidelines. As a nurse and the director for our diagnostic center here at the hospital, I see firsthand the rising statistics. The risk of developing breast cancer has been increasing steadily from 1 out of 20 in 1960 to 1 out of 8 women today. The American Cancer Society estimates that almost 185,000 new cases of invasive breast cancer will be diagnosed this year, and 41,000 patients will die from the disease. There are multiple factors that put women at risk. These include age. As you get older, your risk increases. 17% of breast cancer diagnoses are among women in their 40s, while about 78% are in women 50 and older. Family history. If you have a mother, sister, or daughter diagnosed with breast cancer, your risk doubles. About 25% of women with breast cancer have a family member with the disease. Previous chest radiation. If you were treated as a child with chest radiation for diseases like Hodgkin's or non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, you have a 12 times higher risk. History of prior breast cancer, starting your period before 12 and menopause after 50. Women who have had no pregnancies or their first child after 30. Moderate obesity, especially after menopause and diets high in saturated trans fats and red meats. Alcohol consumption, greater than two alcohol beverages per day puts a woman at increased risk. In addition, most studies indicate that taking estrogen longer than 10 years may lead to a slight increase in risk for developing breast cancer. But there are a lot of positive benefits of taking estrogen as far as reducing the risk of osteoporosis, heart disease, and now more recently, Alzheimer's and colon cancer. Always check with your healthcare provider before stopping estrogen replacement therapy. The goal of a screening mammogram is to detect breast cancer when it is still too small to be felt by a physician or the patient. Research has shown that early detection of small breast cancers by screening mammography greatly improves a woman's chances for successful treatment. For example, if breast cancer is caught and treated while it is still confined to the breast ducts, a type called ductal carcinoma in situ, or DCIS, the cure rate is close to 100%. The American Cancer Society recommends women begin receiving screening mammograms every year at 40. In addition, women younger than 40 who are at high risk of developing breast cancer, that means strong family history of breast cancer, or test positive from BRCA gene mutations, should ask their physicians about beginning annual screening mammograms earlier than age 40, as early as 25 in some cases. While mammography can occasionally miss breast cancers, it can also detect cancer several years before a lump can be felt.